The Earth is the only planet in our solar system capable of supporting life. Even from outer space, it is clear that the Earth is full of life. It has a delicately balanced ecosystem of millions of living organisms coexisting and relying on each other for survival. But what if all these different organisms were actually just parts of one superorganism? The Earth. You curious? Discover more. No more. The Gaia theory, which is named after the Greek goddess of Earth, talks about this idea in detail. This theory argues that all living organisms, along with their inorganic surroundings, adapted and evolved as a collective whole in the form of one giant, self-regulating system that keeps things in place in order for life to survive on Earth. This theory was put forward by a highly accredited scientist named James Lovelock. He came up with this theory while studying about why Earth's atmosphere is different from that of Mars. Why does our Earth have both oxygen and methane when Mars has mainly carbon dioxide? James Lovelock suggested that since oxygen comes from plants and methane is the result of bacteria, the Earth is regulating its atmosphere, providing oxygen to support life and methane to help maintain a livable temperature. Over the years, he came across more examples of the Earth trying to keep itself alive, and his theories started to attract prominent supporters, such as former US Vice President Al Gore. In essence, many scientists are to believe that Earth itself and life on Earth have evolved together over time in such a way that each has affected the other every step of the way. Rather than life on Earth simply reacting to the environment, Life on Earth also affects and changes the environment around it. But despite all the people who supported the Gaia theory, there were far more critics who dismissed it. Critics of the Gaia theory argue that the entire theory violates the scientific method, since it only provides ideas, but offers no real explanation of exactly how organisms could act together to maintain a balance of life on Earth. As it stands today, the Gaia theory is still heavily debated in the scientific community, the Gaia theory can at least be useful as a way to encourage people to take better care of our planet. If we look at ourselves as being a part of our planet's regulatory system, then we should choose to make more conscious decisions to help that system, rather than to destroy it. Maybe one day we'll look back at the Gaia theory as the beginning of a better understanding of our role on Earth. If we think of the Earth like a human body, and when our body overheats, we have our own perspiration system that makes us sweat to help regulate the body temperature and cool down. When Earth starts to overheat, it regulates its atmosphere and controls its temperature using its own system of plant and animal life. But now our planet is heating up at a pace that is beyond its abilities to keep fixing itself, and that is majorly because of us. So, are we a part of Earth's regulatory system, or are we a disease that is slowly disrupting its delicately balanced system? What do you think? Let us know what you think of the Gaia theory in the comments below. Until next time, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications of our new videos.